Calling me in order. to um, get the names, have you tell us the names of the volunteers that are attached to each station at this time? As I stated at the beginning, we're not going to answer any of the questions. That's through our legal counsel. Mm -hmm. uh, while the investigation is ongoing, they advise us not to answer. They said this is not a hearing. Well, this, I, this isn't, hasn't, doesn't have anything to do with the hearing. I would just like to know who the volunteers are attached to each station. Because according to our ratings bureau, you know, we have to have six living within five miles of a station that's rated at eight and four living within five miles of a station rated at nine. I would just like the names of those people is all.
Any other comments? Okay, I would like to have a tour today of this fire hall. And I'd like to see that little fire hall to see what uh, this taxpayer has and how it's being maintained, where the records are being kept. Because as the one <clears throat> reason why some of the records weren't disclosed to us or put out there because they were wet and destroyed by rodents. I would like to be assured that we are taking care of that now if we can all have a tour of this, meet, this hall today now. Thank you. Did you have a number on how many calls that you went on last year in 2022? Is that a number that you can give out, or is that another one that I can't ask? <laughs> okay. It was two something. You don't two, have just two the two number. Two. I don't have a specific number. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to make a written request like for the next meeting today to submit it afterwards? <laughs> I, well, we can have that posted on our website. Oh, it is. You okay. know, we, 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 we can have it posted. Oh, okay. Because I, I don't have internet. I'm pretty archaic and back in the day. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Mrs. Stewart. Um, is there any reason why you couldn't post the names of the volunteers on the website? It's public, Mr. Stewart, you, you have to be very careful when you put people's names, addresses, or anything else out there. There's laws against that. I think it's public disclosure that we know who names. the volunteers are. Yes, but we have to be careful when we do it. Because we can be liable. You can't just put somebody's name and address or anything else out there. I didn't ask for their address. I well, just when you're asking for who gets assigned to what station, you're pretty much going to know who lives where. Uh, I don't. We won't yeah. tell. It's not the point. Marjorie Zara. Mm -hmm. Possibly, you know, because we all worry about our insurance coverage because of the fire district and you know, the shortage of people and whatever. Possibly for each of the areas, maybe you could just say how many volunteers kind of live in my area. So like Lake Nuwatzel, there is nobody. So my insurance looks at that and says, sorry. Right. And my husband volunteered before or after retiring from here to man the Lake Nuwatzel so that all the people on the lake could not have that increased insurance. So I think possibly if you could let us know how many in the areas so that we know that we have any kind of protection. Because I know where I live. I do not. I've had 13 years of experience here. And we have helped numerous times on the lake in the area. So with times. boats and whatnot. Yeah. And that's, you know, yeah. names, just right. bodies. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's, that's the important thing is how many people are in the station, not who their names are or anything yeah. else, how many are living next to that station. Yeah, because it's a big thing. Yes. Um, a meeting or two ago, I asked about fire commission minutes, and you stated that you would post those on the website as well, and I cannot find those still. All right, well, we will make sure that that gets there. Thank you. I will. And thank you for posting the agenda. It's really just I really appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. With that being said, is there any other? Okay. I was wondering about the tour. I didn't hear an answer on that. Can we have a tour? Like we had stated at the beginning, we're not going to sit here and, and keep answering all the questions. And okay, well, we're just going to okay. do So. Got the note. With that being said, we're going to end community comments and we're going to move on with our business. Do any commissioner comments? 
Uh, yeah, I do. I need to. Uh, I need to apologize for a statement I made last month out of ignorance. I stated that we had taken uh, it was the word annex part of Grace Harbor, and that was not true. There was a misunderstanding on my part. So uh, sorry for the information that we know wasn't intended. So just sharing ignorance on that part. Can you speak up, please? It's hard to hear you back here. You need to apologize for the statement I made about annexing part of Mace, uh, Grace Harbor that we never did. It was a misunderstanding on my part. And I think Al tried to correct me last month and I didn't hear him. Yeah, so. yeah because it's on the tax roll, we pay taxes for Grace Harbor. Oh, I know. To I know. So. But can we, because I just brought up the fact, can I interject? We can't hear him, especially when the door is open and traffic is going by. Is there a way to shut this door? Because it's hard to hear when no microphones or anything else is going on in here. And we got traffic going by. Thank you. Thank you.
have had 11 calls so far this year. I believe we only had like 36 calls the whole last quarter of 22, which is a significant drop from years prior, which is a good thing.